About 14 months ago, I bought the cheapest BMW E38 on the internet. I found this 2001 740i on eBay for 400 bucks. He had a salvage flood title and had recently quit starting for the owner, who at that point just wanted it out of his driveway. The first time I saw the car in person was the night I went to pick it up. It had some cosmetic issues and rust bubbles on the exterior panels, garbage tires, and was already missing the taillights and the truck navigation unit. All of that, plus the salvage title, in addition to not wanting to start or even crank, helped me to decide I'd be better off parting it out rather than making it row worthy and trying to sell it for a couple grand. I've been selling and or trading parts from this car over the past year on eBay, Craigslist, and Facebook. I've taken photos and kept a list of each part sold. For parts that were traded, I'm using the average market price for the same used part sold on eBay. Although I was going to wait to share my part out progress until everything was sold, I've had a few of my subscribers ask for an update. So here's part one of my $400 BMW 740i part out list. Park brake handle, 2735. Transmission, which I found out had no reverse, 250 bucks. The rear bumper cover had a bad crack in it. I kept the trim and sold for 20 bucks. Left and right mirrors, 80 bucks. Trunk lock actuator, 24.95. Glove box handle, 79.95. Golf bag illustration card, 2.95. Left grab handle, 13.95. Left rear fender molding, 7.95. Left rear door molding, 25.95. Right rear door molding, 25.95. Left interior door handle, 11.95. Right rear bumper molding, $21.95. My five-year-old took a liking to the Motorola flip phone, so I gave it to her. Then I looked on eBay to see they sell for 40 to 50 bucks. Oh well, she loves it. Center rear bumper molding, $55.95. Rubber intake boot, $29.95. Sill lamp, $5.95. Sun visors, $44.95. Right rear fender molding, $7.95. Front right door speaker, $17.95. Radio trim plate, $25.95. Right rear speaker, $19.95. The rear springs found a perfect home on the struts of the rear mobile to get the rear lifted enough to fit those big truck tires. Front left door speaker, $22.95. Rear floor mats, $28.95. Left rear trunk panel, $32.95. Another sill lamp, $5.95. Left rear bumper molding, $25.95. Left rear speaker, $19.95. Left interior handle, $11.95. Radio, $99.95. The screen didn't turn on due to the missing nav unit in the trunk. Rather than get another nav unit to test the screen, I sold it as is. Turns out it worked perfect and the buyer got a great deal. Owner manuals, $54.95. Fuel door actuator, $17.95. Front bumper tow flap, $14.95. Lower driver dash panel, $22.95. Top left B pillar trim, $35.95. Left rear exterior handle, $21.95. Transmission ECU, $25.95. Top right B pillar trim, $35.95. Glove box, $19.95. Coolant expansion tank, $24.95. Hood latch, $19.95. Hood buffer, $3.95. Engine cover, $92.95. C pillar right trim, $74.95. Shift knob, $13.95. Hood buffer, $3.95. Hood alarm switch, $19.95. Rear sub box, $65.95. Right front exterior handle, $21.95. Air quality sensor, $21.95. Two cigarette lighters, $19.95. Passenger fog light, $10. Eight coil packs, $80. Transmission crossmember, $28.95. Left lower B pillar trim, $37.95. Shift boot, $14.95. Right rear window channel, $29.95. Front seat pocket panel, $29.95. Two license plate lights, $17.90. The catalytic converters, $115. Front left interior sill strip, $12.95. DME, $37.95. A CD changer for parts, $10.95. Third brake light, $9.95. Garage door remote, $24.95. Pair of cigarette lighters, $16.95. Right rear window regulator, $62.95. Front seat back panel pocket, $31.95.
left fog light, $20.95. A pillars, left and right side, $39.95. Seat rail covers, $19.95. Top left C pillar trim, $17.95. Voice recognition module, $19.95. Left dash wood trim, $9.95. Ski bag trunk panels, left and right side, $22.95. Rear center console, $39.95. The entire rear end was donated to Mike's CBR 600 F4i go-kart project. Red door safety light, $4.99. Heater control valve, $72.95. Left rear reading light, $21.95. Passenger wood dash trim, $18.95. Right rear door insulator, $19.95. Trunk mat, $19.95. Front right interior sill trim strip, $12.95. Fog light switch, $14.95. A pair of front seat reclining vertical motors, $29.95. Right fender liner, $36.95. Passenger seat headrest motor, $15.95. Left rear window regulator, $58.95. M62 flywheel, $24.95. Strut cap cover, $4.99. M62 TU engine wiring harness, $99.95. After picking it clean of any worthy parts, I scrapped the shell and got $180.73. $28.50 of that was for the 57 pounds of wiring I took out of the car. And that wasn't even including all the power wire, which I kept. Turn signal bulb sockets, $10.95 for the pair. Passenger distribution box, $55.95. Passenger seat harness, $18.95. Center console switch module, $19.95. Hood vent trim, $55.95. Gauge cluster, $39.95. The cluster had burned out pixels. Good ones are worth much more. Headlight switch, $14.95. Another door safety light, $4.99. Rear headrest, $12.95. M62 TU tensioner, $16.95. Console wood trim, $59.95. Front left door airbag, $22.95. SRS control unit, $65.95. Left front door lock actuator, $45.95. Front seat belt set, $35.95. Alpine radio unit, $65.95. Front lumbar pump unit, $15.95. Left and right windshield trim, $20.95. Another rear headrest, $12.95. Upper left timing cover, $35.95. Trunk lid power lock drive, $25.95. Right exhaust manifold, $94.95. Rear seat belts, $25.95. Oil pump, $48.95. Coolant pipes, $27.95. Lower oil pan, $55.95. Front right seat belt buckle, $26.95. Steering wheel clock spring, $42.95. Hood release handle, $9.95. Leather center armrest, $75.95. Front bumper grid, $19.95. The grand total so far, $4,188.45. I honestly thought I'd end up somewhere between three and four grand when it was all said and done. At the rate things are going, I'm guessing I'll end up between seven and eight grand, maybe more. This has been a fun experiment to see how much I could get out of this car. It's been over a year and I still have plenty of BMW parts in my basement. I've always wanted a neat 38, but this wasn't the right car for me or for anyone. It makes me feel good inside to see so many parts going to keep other E38s on the road. If you've had a good or bad experience with an E38, let us know in the comments. Or if you've had good luck parting out any vehicle, I'd like to hear what it was and how you made out in the end. Give this video a like if you want me to do a follow-up when the rest of the parts are sold. As always, thanks for watching.